talked about how to have voice conversations with people in Second Life, whether they be public voice or private voice chats, but we haven't talked about how to set up voice on your computer. Second Life usually defaults to whatever is optimal for the system that you have in order to make it run at its best on your computer. There are many things that you can alter in order to make that better or worse than what the default is. You have preferences in Second Life, and preferences is where you will go in order to set up voice communications. If you notice the board behind me, there are instructions on how to set up voice. All of the boards that Jocelyn and I have been standing in front of were made for Viewer 1, not Viewer 2. So things I'm showing you are for Viewer 2, but just realize that what's behind me doesn't necessarily uh, correspond exactly with it. Now in Viewer 2, if I want to set up voice, then what I do is I go up to the top to me, I go to preferences, and what I've got now is basically a panel of everything from general preferences to graphics to my own privacy uh, to chat preferences and what color I want my text to be and all kinds of fun things that are set up ultimately for my computer. What I want to do now is go to the sound and media setting and this is where you'll see three settings that I've changed. I want to be able to hear streaming music on my parcel and I'll show you how to do that in a minute. I want to be able to see video on my parcel and I want to be able to have voice chat enabled. What that allows me then is it enables the voice chat, but then I have to make sure that my input and output devices are where I want them to be. So in my case, you can see I'm using a blue snowball mic. I could make use a built-in mic. I could use any other type of a USB mic, but I, my blue snowball is my input device. My output device is going to be just to my computer speakers or to my headset. And it's important if you do use voice that you have some kind of headset device on as well as a mic. And they can be combined or whatever. Because if you talk and you keep hearing your voice coming through your computer speakers, it will cause this feedback loop that will make it unbearable for you. So in order to remove that, you need to make sure that you've got some kind of headset on with, a, with an attached mic or a separate mic. So that's how we set up the voice communications, and that's how we can communicate by voice.